The union cabinet has approved incentives worth 69,725 crore rupees to boost India's shipbuilding and maritime sector. After nearly two years of stagnation, the government has revived a comprehensive plan to restructure the DRDO into a leaner and agile institution, with a senior PMO official spearheading the reforms. The DRDO is developing an indigenous turret for the Zorawa light tank, a critical step toward reducing dependence on foreign suppliers. The Ministry of Defence has signed a massive 62,370 crore rupees contract with Hindustan Aeronautics for 97 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets, that include 68 fighters and 29 trainers, and the deliveries will start in 2027, and will be completed by 2033. Indian drone maker Idea Forge Technology Limited has partnered with US-based First Breach to establish a joint venture First Forge Technology that will focus on UAV production in the US. The first integrated defense research altitude test facility of GTRE will be operational by 2028 that will give India the long-awaited capability to test full-scale 130 kN jet engines under simulated high altitude and extreme temperature conditions, eliminating dependence on foreign labs. India's Strategic Forces Command has successfully conducted the first-ever launch of the Agni Prime Intermediate-Range Ballistic Missile from a rail-based mobile launcher system. The next-generation missile has a strike range of up to 2,000 km, and incorporates advanced features for enhanced precision reliability and survivability. The specially designed rail mobile launcher can move seamlessly across the national railway network without prior preparations, enabling cross-country mobility, reduced visibility, and short reaction time launches. Russian officials have confirmed that HALS Nashik facility requires only minimal modifications less than 30% to begin local assembly of the Su-57E fighter jets, with production possible within a year of contract signing, and first rollout by 2027. The proposed package includes 40 units delivered from Russia, and 100 more units for licensed production at Nashik facility. Russian officials also stated, that HALS Kora Put Engine Division is being ready to manufacture AL-41 F1S engines from raw materials with 80% localization and technology transfer, enabling output of over 80 engines annually by 2028, and this engine production rate will be enough to sustain both Super Shukhoi upgrade program and new SU-57E production. Dassault Aviation has now upped its game, and has proposed make in India production of the Rafale F4.1 variant with 60% localization, including manned unmanned teaming upgrades, Astra and Rudrum missile integration, and even a future switch to the 120 kN Safran GTR re engine, along with quick local upgrade of 36 Rafale F3R variant to F4.1 standard in just a week. The plan covers local assembly at Dassault Reliance Aerospace Limited in three years, and scaling to 20 aircraft annually, thus delivering the full order in under six years. Indigenous fuselages will be sourced from Tatu Advanced Systems Hyderabad, and assembly plus MRO of Safran M88 engines at a new Hyderabad facility by 2026. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.